Go watch my previous stuff, you'll get the idea. Welcome back to Civilization 6. It's right now. We're at peace times. Looks like first order of business is to settle all this land, get all the campuses up and running. With that said, let's buy a second settler. And what are we looking at here? Come from behind play with the skirmisher. Good work. And this guy is just gonna move up over here. Yeah, fortunately Samarkand hasn't extended to the coast. Yervan, huh? You know the worst part about that is I'm pouring all of my resources into it. Not in having great possessions. And what was that galley thinking? Now I don't have to waste a turn killing him. Thanks a lot. One Egypt. Now, let's get discipline. If I clear them out, it's easier to settle. I think I'll do that. We'll get some free experience for my Flying Dutchman in unit. And, uh, oh boy, what are we looking at? Hmm. Both of them can take a shot and go for the kill. I don't want to waste time healing the skirmisher. Wait a minute. I would have had to. He was going to get a promotion. Oh well. Now what are we looking at? Well, we're going to have to get patronage. Now the worst part about it is... It's difficult to retain city-state loyalty. Maybe I have to put it into a money. Three levels and I can double her influence. So it's not a problem. I think I'll stash away the governor's title. It will save gunpowder for later, I suppose. I think one of these towers takes a hit on it. That settler's going, this settler can go here. And this settler's ready to settle. Gonna take a while for it to develop. I'm thinking first things first is it grows and then it can expand into some production areas. But what else do we want from this? A harbor is tempting. Oh no, I've been forgetting that. I'm gonna want serfdom so that I can get builders with five charges. We're gonna chop out where the campus is gonna go. Gonna make ourselves a... Actually, it doesn't need a granary. Get a monument instead. Promotion. Forget it. Now, what are we looking at here? Some more coastline, it's good to get more intel. Always good to scout out. We're not gonna need to research Casa de Contraction as long as Colossus is being built. Right, our Agent Berserker's job is done. We can head off to meet up with uh, Iron Golem, I guess. Can we get yet another settler? I can money print them later. Let's get Magnus over to the other city where he'll be of use shortly. And for now, Moxa would be a good loyalty stick. We gotta clear barbarian camps. That's kind of a big deal. Hmm. Ah, but I run out of movement points. London has open borders with me. When did that happen? Someone wants Yavin badly. I may just go to war to kill them. Then I will not have competition. Gunpowder. 
That's right. Forget this part. We don't need this city. Okay, what are we looking at? I guess I can move a settler up that way. Here. There's good. It'll take too. It'll take a long time to get cartography. We'll get Castle de Contraction built. Uh, we'll get the Colossus built by then. Castle de Contraction is going to be very useful. It allows me to instantly promote the governor to the top level. The university has been built. I guess now we get to work on a harbor. Ah, plus the harbor. Sounds good. Unless. Now that there's no unless about it. Wait. How is it damaged? It's not at all damaged. Look at the fort. Oh, of course, the military thing. That's going to take no time at all, basically. So I may as well go ahead and do that. Take the promotion, Alpine. You can take a promotion, Aerostorm. Couple of Aerostorm units going about, they're going to do heavy damage. If I upgrade them into crossbowmen, they'll do even more damage. Ah, you fool! Now, back this way. I guess I can send the swordsman into the fray. Noise and Berserker would be a valuable asset even against rage. So, we're sending him out. Eh, the archer can take the camp because the flying Dutchman will kill anything that spawns. It is a beautiful and important monument and an international intercultural treasure. And there it is. Unless and until it can be shared by both religions in harmony, which would be a grand idea, it should remain a secular building, honoring both religions who have made it beautiful. I forget why I built the Hagia Sophia. Missionaries of apostles can desert religion in extra time. That's gonna play well into a religion game. You know what else would play very well? Yerevan. We got two envoys. I'm thinking... We put them both into Yerevan. Someone is clearly desiring Yerevan. So, who is my competition? Great, huh? Maybe I will kill you after all. Read that. Maybe I cripple his religion so he cannot build one. Now, what are we looking at? The Hagia Sophia has been done. I get to work on this settler. It'll be built after Magnus shows up. If we get the armory, we can get military engineers. So there's a motive to do that. Maybe I get a stable so that siege units are better. Uh, this might be uh, where I recruit my siege units. It would be a good place to get the siege units so stable's good and uh, yeah this one is basically dead although maybe I should have let them live be a problem for Eleanor of Aquitaine looks like they've expanded in Cinguetti oh well oh hey they dispersed that camp I guess there will not be need for flying Dutchman over there That's right, five movement, very useful. That's what Hitsikonkrikonis is very good for. I also got the Great Lighthouse, I believe. Do I have the Great Lighthouse? That would be the only explanation as to why my units are moving extra fast. Unless... There's something else. Wait, he can't chop this? Oh, I haven't bought the tile. Silly me. There we go. Now 
We can chop it. Of course, it's still doing well. Finding new lands for me. If he gets far enough, he'll be ending up going the other way. Now, big erect and stain the stone column. What got obsoleted? Industrial era and earlier wonders. I do want the wonder card. I also want everything else, basically. The cities need to be well developed. We don't necessarily need a lot of them. So we get serfdom instead of the other one. And right on time. Because here we go. Well, we gotta buy this tile so that it's not stake taken from me. Another governor's title. Hmm. Do we want Amani the Diplomat? If I struggle to keep Yervin, I'll get Amani the Diplomat upgraded. I think right now we rush Moksha. Uh, let's see. I may as well get Grand Inquisitor. It uh, doesn't matter. Eh, whatever. What's gonna happen here? Are they actually gonna land a solid hit on me? If they try to entrap me, I'll kill the slinger and get out of there. City 4. What you need is a... What do you want? A water mill, I guess. Population is working that. Well... Gotta grow that city, I guess. No, first things first, you need a bakery. You're never gonna grow unless you have food. Cahokia. Famous for his Cahokian mounds. So. Let's get the Norwegian Berserker here. And I'll explain at a later point why that is important. Wait, I don't want to build a mine there. Let's get some irrigation, harvest that luxury resource. And it's time to churn out another settler. Let's go explore a bit of land. See what your terrain looks like. They're pulling it back because they took a lot of damage. Ah. At Rhodes was set up a Colossus. Ah, that's a free trade route. What do we want? Uh, you know, well, you wouldn't happen to have a quest to send a trade route to your other place. I gotta keep in the monarchy as much as I can so that I can get bonus influence points. Vilnius would set up a road over there. That's good. Let's do that then. With Colossus built, well, I guess we'll put a couple turns into the Grandmaster's Chapel. City three. Where were you? Ah, yes. Get straight up. Get to work straight away on the campus. Although we should build, purchase another tile for you to work with. Because this is going to cripple your production. Eh, three turns of dope border growth, so that's fine. Let's see. Triple archer slinger play. Oh wow, he's actually almost dead. I think we'll hit first with the slinger. The skirmisher. Now, we should probably send some support up that way. Alternatively, I could poke right at the pikeman. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Should be able to handle himself a little bit. And he can take another kill on hit to kill him 
and then move on to the territory take a pot shot at the guys when they try to get over to him and then raise the ca raise the cap oh oh dear that one is not quite going to work, so we'll need a different position on it. We'll need to figure something else out. The cap, that capital is going there, so we can move this capital up. And then does that allow us to place something here? It does. Now we just got to make sure it can actually settle there. So this settler is going to go over here. Where are you going? Into the water? Take the Flying Dutchman with you. Garrison up. You'll be fine. Do we really want to get a man at arms in it? Wow, they're cheap. May as well. Uh, they're starting to become obsolete. But the archers will keep pushing. Oh, is that really the end of the line? That's unfortunate. I had to guess Rage is part of the Owls of Minerva. Oh, he's part of the Brigands Court. Alright. He'll open his borders and pay me a suitable amount of money. Yeah, this one's fine. I'll get more strategic resources stockpiled. I might have actually been at my cap there. Yeah. I hit my limit. May as well gather up some more. Get some extra gold from this. That's gonna help considerably. What are we looking at? Oh wait, that's going to grow in one turn. Now this. Man at arms unit. Fresh off the press. Guess you can head up this way. I don't care. So, what are we looking at? Hmm, looks like they backed off. Yeah, it's not gonna help you much. Before I kill you, ooh, a musket man. Do we want one of? No, because once I get line infantry, it'll be much cheaper to upgrade my other units. Well, mission complete. Time for them to head out. Oh, but maybe we should make sure. We don't get any more barbarian camps spawning in the area. I'll take another shot at it. Need to send the archer up to help escort. Ah, looks like they've started developing privateer units. Not all who wander. Wait a minute. Okay, I can still claim it. It'll be a bit expensive. Not sure I want to settle just to get more wine yes builder get over that way and build the night of mine what else do we have I guess I'll get line infantry soon keep working your way over that way and this builder, it's not a lot of good tiles worth chopping. I guess I'll get a lumber mill in this area. Unless I need something else before I can do that. Yeah, I probably need mercantilism. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to chop that, so I guess I'll just chop it. Hmm, it's been pushed out of the borders. How's about we get some more open borders going, huh? Ah, it's favorable. Alright. That's fine. Now. 
Behold the wonders of How Long Bay. Control under the control of Eleanor of Aquitaine. Plus fifteen combat strength when defending in this tile. That's really good. This warrior monk looking pretty weak. Maybe I send the skirmisher up to finish the job? Looking pretty weak. I'll send my veteran skirmisher to see what he can do with that. Oh, two declarations of war. Could be a joint oh. war. He thieves. We they killed. Can't go around arresting. Alrighty. Devil fares. I guess I'll just keep going bottom tech. I can claim a great person. Instantly creates an ironclad unit. I kind of want to hold off on this one, actually. Because the ironclad is great and all, but you know what would be better? A flying Dutchman armada. The only one who is coming close to producing a good amount of great admiral point. Yeah, she's got to get it well before anyone else has a chance at the next one, so... I'll pass. I want that flying Dutchman armada. I guess we'll get Citadel of God. Ooh, that's good. Because soon we'll get the stable and we'll get a bit of bonus faith. Find my me. Now I guess this guy can... Oh, we can explore the open waters now. Oh, that's good. That is good. We can go straight for it. I'm here to win. So, there you are. Oh, where are you? Are you all the way up to the north? Do you not have coastline access to the other civilizations? You're so isolated. Alright. That's, that's fine, I guess. Oh, we got a new barbarian camp. Right here. Change of plan, settler. They're taking a detour. I was sending the settler this way. Change of plans. Gonna settle here. So that we can get some promotions ready for the crossbowmen to be. Now, I guess we'll buy another settler. Two declarations of war theme. And Rage have declared war on Hammurabi. Rage will have to divert some of his troops to attack Hammurabi. But he is far along technologically. What's the grievance log reporting? Still got plenty of grievances. Maybe next era we get to arms. Hippolyta, the Book of Thoth. Uh, uh, another one of those relic things, no thanks. Eastern Orthodoxy. Who's spreading their religion to the Kuh? Remember that people break machinery. Astronomy. Would unlock the caravel. Would be a good idea to have a bunch of boats in the water that can handle it. But I have not pre-built any galleys. Castle de Contraction. Is there a great engineer I can pick up real quick? None that are worthwhile. And the governor's title. We have it. Patron Saint. Time for the juggernaut to begin. Except I don't have a holy site in this city. So. Once Magnus produces that settler, we'll have to put Moksha back into play. Build the night of mine. Ah yes, that boosted line tactics quite nicely. Ah, they're healing up. Well, they took a promotion. The man at arms unit can handle himself. Oh boy, a pike and shot. That is gonna complicate matters, right? 
But we can settle around him. Even still, it's possible. And... The archers are not going to be of much use at this stage. So we'll need to put them in here so they can get upgraded into crossbowmen. Now... Where else do I want to settle? I guess up here sounds good. Yeah, I don't have the boost that is necessary. I could improve this fishing tile. Someone's finally finished their Coliseum. They're gonna be so far behind on building wonders I might have a chance. Maybe I should get Liang's and construct a bunch of fisheries. So that I can get even more production out of these tiles. And that's the settler built. Moksha is going back there. I guess we're done expanding. Once he's established, the snowball begins. You get an upgrade, and you get an upgrade. This will help you survive. Builder. But there's nothing to build. He built. Hmm, Flatland Desert is kind of a terrible spot. The Oasis will at least do something. Let's get to work on the campus right away. Yep, a major adjacency bonus. That's gonna be good. What's this settler gonna do? I don't know. I guess... Head over here before Linlanda expands again. Hmm. I guess he can help improve City 4. City 1, what do you have for me? Industrial Zone. Alright, so that's where Taramar has been. I could try being the first to circumnavigate the world. Yeah, it's not too far. But... Land units is stick to land, unless they're being escorted by naval units. Let's see, we'll do a hit on him. We're fighting at a disadvantage there. That's fine. Fishing boat time. And what else can this be used for? Why am I building a bakery? I mean, yeah, we obviously want the city to grow a little better. Now, what else could we be doing? Obviously, we don't want to build a farm there. That's where the campus is going. Only the Flying Dutchman had one more range. Oh well. And I guess it will just sit there. And make a beeline for other stuff, I guess. New city states. From a card. Isn't a card the one that lets you buy walls with faith? No, they do full damage to the cities. Kabul. And what was Kabul? Double experience when initiating combat. That's pretty good. And Geneva. 15% science when I'm not at war. I mean, I plan on going to war, so I'm not sure how that's gonna help me. Ah, oh, you finally founded your religion. You got your holy site up and running. Three gold a turn for 30 turns. Is a little bit, but it's not enough. The military man loves animal parades. Now, what are we looking at? Could get printing. We'll have to wait until I can get ballistics. We can at least have one 
caravel pre-built. We'll put him up here so he can take some damage. The Flying Dutchman will attack the Musket Men and do a considerable amount of damage. The next great person... This one forms an armada out of a military naval unit. Now that is the one I wanted. Because the Flying Dutchman army is going to be pivotal to this upcoming war. 69 defense strength. It doesn't look so big anymore. Traber say can be upgraded to bombard eventually. I guess I could pre-build a trebuchet into a bombard if I wanted to. Let's get the armory instead. I've already invested a little bit into that. So, um, bit of an island peninsula here. You got this. Here. Um, I'm not moving the settler. This builder can go there. Another builder. And I built the galley. I could probably pre purchase a galley if I wanted to. I think I'll pre purchase a couple of galleys. It'll be plenty enough for this upcoming war. Uh oh. This settlers better stop. Let's see if the musket men attacks the man at arms unit. Uh, you know what? I have been forgetting to send delegations. Probably should do that. All that clusters is gold. Often have you heard that told. I could work with that. Uh, not in terms of strategy, I'm just thinking about how I would edit it. So... He gone for that. Nice try. These crossbow men will tear you apart. And I guess I don't need to get any more experience in the discomer so he's perfect the way he is. Well, the promotion is good. Camouflage would be of good use. Ah, yes, the Distinguished Troop. Where was this settler heading? Eh, send it all the way out this way. Oh, looks like we found some enemies. Thanks for pointing them out, settler. Eh, it's skirmisher. Yeah, that's fine. We gotta focus on killing the tough units with the Flying Dutchman to really get on their bad side. Lumber mills can be built on Rainforest. This one would be quite useful to have. As with exploration, it's about time I got that. Ah, we have it! An armada out of a na military naval unit. Oh, it's gonna be so good. So good. Let's send him immediately over to promote the Flying Dutchman. Armada him up. That's gonna be good. This one can build Machu Picchu on that on those tiles. Mountain tiles provide standard adjacency bonuses to other things. I'm not sure that's useful. I'm quite heavily focused on making them a campus thing. So, we're putting a campus here, a plus three adjacency bonus. Another envoy, three envoys. We'll send one to, who am I kidding? I don't have any theater square buildings. We'll send one to Ansan. One to Fez. And that's about it. Wait a minute, I'm already in the golden age. I better hold off until this era ends in three turns. This one can build a rock thing. This one can build a rock thing. 
what all are you working? I think we'll, I think at this point, we're going to focus production. There's going to be a population loss, so we're going to lock in this one. Why are you locked? You idiot! Why? What What purpose does that serve? Finick, finicky programming. Now it's not going to grow anymore. But I don't need it for anything other than a campus. And it's got all the production it's going to get. I only need it to be a science city. That's the role it will play and it's done. Do I want to head this one out? Yeah, you can never have too many caravel units. Right. Gonna be fighting this war. We don't need caravels causing a nuisance. And we'll have to send the Flying Dutchman back down at some point. Not until he has killed that skirmisher. Be very crossed if he was allowed to live and then he took my settler. This galley can just rest up here. As can this one and uh, this one. Maybe I form fleets out of them. Nah. I don't think caravels require neither, so that's gonna be good. Suma ulte semani, ata ener. He's like, I really don't care about you, Hammurabi of Babylon. Refuse the deal. I still need that stuff. Do I have line infantry yet? Astronomy is much more fun. Hmm, extra diplomatic policy slot. Has the Butler Palace been completed? I'm pretty sure with printing I can build the Forbidden City. But what else? I got line tactics already. Let's do this. Musketmen for you. Oh, not quite yet. That'll have to wait until later. Call off the exploration at least for a little bit. We can get the horsemen over that way. We can backtrack over the territories. Two of these. Has no one been settling on this land? Well, obviously Flying Dustman will kill the Slink Kermisher before it captures my settler. This man at arms unit disperses the camp, gets a promotion, and now we can found the city. City 6 will expand into here. Let's get to work on this campus now. But for now, let's focus on growing the population. And what are we looking at? Another skirmisher. Some crossbowmen. They can move out. Alright, what are we looking at? I guess I'll go back over to this greenery to improve it a bit more. Got a lot of population in there. So anyways, this has been Timberjack and uh, thank you for watching this episode. On the next episode. It's finally here. Stay tuned for... The Flying Dutchman Armada.